special with these young, hip, urban kids who can make something ridiculous look really cool. They played in Harachis. These basketball sneakers that nobody would have played in, but they played in them and made them popular. I mean, Harachis, yo, like that was crazy. At first glance, everyone was shook. Was it a sneaker or a sandal? The original Hirachi was one of those shoes where you kind of wonder what Nike's thinking. All the people would have said, you know what, you're not going to make a, sh a basketball shoe based on a sandal, you know, I mean, the, the, anybody else would have said that's ridiculous. And then you put them on and you play and you're like, oh yeah, that's what Nike's thinking. Truth be told that Flight Hirachi 92 was minimalism at its best. Uh, I was really trying to strip away material, trying to uh, find not only ways to uh, lighten up the shoe, but make it feel more natural. Combine the comfort of a sandal with the performance of a sneaker, and then strip away anything that was unnecessary. At first, few ball players were rocking. They just looked ridiculous. But then fate intervened. Five casts from the Midwest decided to take the Hirachi with them on their trip into basketball history. What they took with them was the things that they were doing every day in the streets anyway. So the cats over at Michigan, they didn't want to wear the hot pants, so they put on the longer shorts that like they would wear in the hood. That's when we talked to Coach Fish, he was like, man, can we wear long shorts? He's like, well, you know what, you guys can wear these long shorts, no problem at all, you just give me some wins. <laughs> and that became a staple in basketball. There's no such thing as hot pants in basketball anymore. I know me, I went out and bought my Michigan shorts and my Michigan jersey because I thought those were the coolest dudes around. We picked up a pair of black Nike socks. And we were like, well, what would Coach think about this? And we were like, well, you know what? We can't let him see him, the socks until we go out there on the court. And before the, the, uh, the tip of the game, we put the socks on. You know, our names were called. You know, we were about to get ready in our jump ball. We took our warm-up pants off. And then there we go. All five of us had our black socks. So you had these kids straight out of high school and they just brought really an attitude and a swagger of like, hey, we belong. I don't care that, you know, we're freshmen, who cares? You know, we're just as good as the seniors. They brought coolness to the court. They were like, we're gonna wear sneakers that no one else has and they're gonna be cool. Nobody had them, nobody else wore them, so it made them cool. They had more swagger than college hoops had ever seen. And they had the game to back it up. They played like with force. It was like an all-star team already back in the day. When others looked at the 92 Rachi and said, hell nah, these five said, hell yeah. Who would have thought to play in them Hirachis? They look crazy. They, they didn't even look like you could play in them. But you know, if you play basketball, you realize that they're super comfortable. And so it came to be that the Rachi found an iconic team to represent it to the world. We had no idea that we was gonna make a huge influence on college basketball. You know, kids took to that. You know, like kids were like, wow, that's how I wanna play ball. The only question the five had was, did they come in black? Mm -hmm.